This is Swati Garge, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering from Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. Topic for today's session, Analysis of Cantilever Truss by Graphical Method. At the end of this session, learner will be able to analyze cantilever truss by graphical method. Cantilever truss means one end of the truss is fixed and other end is free. It is shown in the diagram. We can analyze truss by joint method, section method, moment method and the graphical method. In this session, we are learning graphical method. Graphical analysis was developed by force polygon drawn to a scale for each joint and then forces in each member were measured from one of these force polygon. The number of lines which have to be drawn can greatly reduce. However, if the various force polygon are superimposed, the resulting diagram of the truss is known as Maxwell's diagram. These are the steps we have to follow to draw Maxwell's diagram or the force diagram. So, let us consider one numerical to learn how to draw force diagram and how to determine the forces in the member. The cantilever truss shown in the figure, two external forces are acting at point R and S. As it is a cantilever truss, there is no need to determine support reaction. Directly we can proceed without determining the support reaction. Give name to the space first. So, uh, space A is shown in the figure, then this is space B and this is space C. In between space C and space A, there is a support reaction at fixed support. As member is also dividing the space, so we have to give name to that space. It is space D, space E and space F. So, space diagram is complete. Now, draw the vector diagram. For that, take a suitable scale. For the explanation point of view, I am taking the simple scale that 1 centimeter line will is 10 kilo Newton. Now, we will draw the vector diagram. Now, we will move in clockwise direction from the space A. Space A and space B, in between these two space, the one force is there 20 kilo Newton acting vertically downward. So, I will draw a straight line of 2 centimeter according to the scale. So, here the vertical line as it is a vector diagram, the direction of the force is important, it is vertically downward. In, it is in between space A and space B. Now, B to C there is a force vertically downward 20 kilo Newton. So, again draw 2 centimeter line vertically downward, it is also 20 kilo Newton. So, all the external equilibrium I have shown here. If you, uh, if we will consider the support reaction, then we start from the point A, we will reach to the point A to fulfill the conditions of equilibrium. As it, we skip this uh, calculation, the determination of support reaction, so now we will um, stop here only. Now, we will determine the space D. So, space D, there is a force uh, between space B and space D which is horizontal and there is a force between space C and space D which is um, in the member ST. So, we will draw the parallel line to member ST from the space C and draw, we will draw the parallel line to member RS from space B. For that, I have taken a pen. Now, this is a horizontal line and this is a parallel line to the member ST. An intersection point will be space D. So, for the systematic uh, representation, just I will erase it and so this is what I have drawn just now space D. Now, we will determine space E. So, in between space D and E, there is a vertical member and A and E, there is a horizontal member. So, we just draw horizontal line and vertical line. So, intersection of these two line is space E. And then, we finally, we will determine space F. 
so f is a uh, there is a member qt between e and f and there is a member pt um, between space c and f so we'll draw the parallel line so from c we have already drawn a parallel line and from e it is a parallel line to q member qt so intersection point is space f so this is a force diagram that we have drawn now if suppose you want to measure a member force qr so for that you just check it is in between space e e and a now e and a yeah, it is indicating here in this force diagram you simply measure the length of ae so, say suppose it is 3 cm actually it is 3 cm only when you will uh, draw with measurement you will come to know that it is 3 cm if it is 3 cm so according to this scale it is 30 kN so likewise you just measure all the length and find out the member um, forces now uh, this is uh, the space diagram this is vector diagram just complete the table uh, which, is, which is showing the magnitude of all the member and the nature of all the member so this is the table now how to determine the nature of the force see here Say for example, if uh, I, uh, uh, I want to know what is the nature of the member QR. So QR, uh, for that I have uh, I will take joint R for the analysis. So joint R, in, in the surrounding of joint R, C space A, B, D and E are there. Identify this, this spaces in force diagram A, B, D and E. So this rectangle you just to make it separate c now this one direction is known to us that is down vertically downward so as the joint r is in equilibrium so all the forces act in the same direction so i'll show all the forces are in same direction see all the forces are moving in a same direction now i will copy this direction near to the joint r so this member uh, sorry this uh, space bd is um, showing the direction towards the right side so i will copy that direction here and i will show it near to joint r then space e and d it is showing the ver vertically upward direction so i will copy the direction and i will show it near to joint r so same the ae space also i will copy that direction and i will show in the member qr so all this all the direction i show here near to the joint r so opposite direction you show to the other end of the member so this is rs uh, see this opposite side uh, direction i will show it near to the s joint then to to show the nature of member qr i will show the opposite direction near to joint q and here for member rt i will show the opposite direction near to the joint t now to find out the nature of qr you come to uh, member qr it is indicating that it is of tensile nature to find out the nature of rs see it is also of tensile nature and member rt is of compressive nature see rt is compressive nature so to determine the nature you simply consider the equilibrium of the joint take one more example for joint s b d and c are the surrounding space of joint s so this is the b c and d that small triangle just make it separate one direction is known to you you just copy the other direction and what direction you got in this direct uh, diagram you just copy that direction near to the joint s and uh, it is uh, telling that that member st is of compressive nature so member st is of compressive nature this is the answer diagram now just answer the question select the correct equilibrium diagram for joint t from the figure one this is joint T and the surrounding spaces are C, D, E and F. So C, D, E, F is showing in the option B. So option B is the correct option. 
this is my reference for this video thank you very much for the watching